Dubai may be small, 3,302,664 residents at the last count, but it has an almost unfair number of citizens with a 10-figure fortune. According to the latest roundup, a fair share of the richest people in the world call the city their home. Not surprising, really, given that Dubai is the second most expensive city in the region and the 20th most expensive in the world. Today, we take a look inside the life of Dubai's richest family. Number 7. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum is the Prime Minister and Vice President of UAE. He is also the King and Ruler of the Emirates of Dubai. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid is the man responsible for the advancement and transformation of Dubai into an iconic global city. He has overseen and taken part in the launch of various large-scale projects in Dubai. Some of these projects include Emirates Airplane, Palm Islands, Burj Al Arab Hotel, and Burj Al Khalifa. The visionary vice president and king Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid continued to work on big projects. Some of his latest projects are the Intelligent Traffic System Center and inauguration of Museum of the Future. The emir's prolific leadership continues to inspire emirates and foreigners all around the globe. The Maktoum family has in the past made contributions to the local community, including building a 250,000-pound Inverinant and Lakduk community center and donating funds towards its running costs. He has also donated land for a care home for the elderly and, outside the highlands, is patron of the Al Maktoum College of Higher Education in Dundee. Number 6. Early Life In 1971, a 22-year-old Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, royal but not yet a ruler, witnessed the return of sovereignty to Dubai at the end of British rule. 48 years later, he is the most powerful man in the United Arab Emirates. He is the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and also the ruler of Dubai one of the world's most prosperous and advanced cities. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid was born in 1949 and raised in Al Shindaga, where he learned his skills like horsemanship and hunting. His formal education started in 1953 at Al Ahmadiyya School, and after two years, he moved to Dubai Secondary School. After graduating from Bell Language School in Cambridge, UK, he attended the Mons Officer Cadet School, and finally in 1969, he elected as the head of Dubai Police and Public Security. Since then, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid has participated in the establishment of many major-scale projects such as the United Arab Emirates and Port Rashid. Number 5. Lifestyle The Emir of Dubai has six wives and 30 children, and six of his daughters are married into royal families. The king's net worth is around 14 billion, which makes him one of the world's richest royals. He is a majority shareholder of various large-scale firms such as Sony, and he also owns real estate all around the world. Sheikh Mohammed is the face behind many businesses and economic assets of Dubai. Moreover, he owns two companies, namely Dubai Holding and Dubai World. Being a holding company, Dubai World has various assets such as Isthmar World, DB World, Nakheel Properties, and the company has real estate, logistics, and various business investments all around the globe. Dubai Holding, on the other hand, is responsible for the management and development of hospitality businesses such as telecommunications and real estate, etc. The Sheikh has a passion for boats and cars, and he is the proud owner of the world's biggest yacht. He also owns over 100 luxury cars, which are parked in his garage in the luxurious Dubai Palace. The Dubai King has various hobbies such as horse riding, camel racing, and falconry. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid's passion for horse riding made him establish Godolphin Stables along with the stallion breeding operation named Darley. He has won various awards for winning horse races all around the world. The Emir holds the world record for one of the largest charitable donations of around $100 million. This donation made for the establishment of the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Foundation. Number 4. Controversy Shamsa bint Mohammed Al Maktoum has alleged that she was kidnapped off the streets of Cambridge by her father Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's men. Latifa bint Mohammed Al Maktoum has also alleged that she was kidnapped and tortured on orders of her father. The actions taken against the princesses was allegedly motivated by a desire to protect the reputation of the Al Maktoum family. In a video recorded before her attempted escape, Sheikha Latifa claimed to have been imprisoned for several years and abused. In June 2019, Princess Haya fled Dubai for London, reportedly after learning the true story of Princess Latifa's escape. Sheikh Mohammed previously told Princess Haya that Princess Latifa had been snatched in an extortion attempt led by the former French spy Hervé Jobert. According to reports, Jobert had in fact been enlisted to help Princess Latifa escape, as documented in a BBC documentary about her escape. Sources told the BBC that Princess Haya learned disturbing facts about Sheikha Latifa's attempted escape that made her no longer feel safe to be with her husband. Princess Haya sued for custody of her two children at the British High Court while holding up at her 107 million or 85 million pound Kensington townhouse. Number 3. Prince of Dubai 
The most expensive things owned by the Prince of Dubai will blow your mind. The Vice President and Prime Minister of United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum is the second son of the richest man of Dubai. Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and goes by his pen name, Faza. Faza is a thrill seeker, an animal connoisseur, and an extremely hot bachelor with a lot of money in his bank account. Although the net worth of Faza is still unknown, Faza is a multi-billionaire. The Prince of Dubai is very humble in nature and doesn't like showing off his wealth through social media platforms like Instagram. He is active on Instagram though, to only showcase his talent in photography. As we told you above, Faza is an animal connoisseur. He loves camels, but he doesn't have an ordinary camel. His camel won a beauty contest and was chosen among 17,000 camels as the most aesthetic looking humpback. He bought this camel for 2.7 million. Yes, 2.7 million for a camel. The prize money won by his camel was $600,000. The Prince of Dubai loves extraordinary and luxurious cars. He also owns amphibious cars, like the Python, which has a speed of 80 miles per hour on land and 45 miles per hour on water. The prince loved the car so much that he ended up buying all six of the cars, costing him around $1 million. Number 2. Horsemanship Sheikh Hamdam was raised in a family that highly values equestrian sports. Due to the strong spiritual bond people share with the horses across the ancient history of Arabia, riding horses became one of Sheikh Hamdam's most treasured hobbies since childhood. Naturally, he developed this hobby to clinching the titles of a number of international and regional endurance riding championships. Sheikh Mohammed is a major figure in international thoroughbred horse racing and breeding. He owns Darley Stud, the biggest horse breeding operation in the world, which farms in the United States, Ireland, England, and Australia. In 1985, he bought the Irish Thoroughbred Park Appeal for an undisclosed sum at the end of her second season. She went on to produce at least 9 winners from 12 foals and is the ancestor of many successful horses. Al Maktoum had raced horses as a child. He would share his breakfast with the horse on the way to school, but he attended his first normal race at Newmarket in 1967 with his brother Hamdan, watching Royal Palace win the 2000 guineas. Becoming an owner in his own right, 10 years later, he won his first race with Hatta at Brighton. And five years after that, he and Hamdan had three studs and 100 horses under training. Number 1. Interesting Activities and Philanthropic Work The Mohammed bin Rashid Global Initiatives is a charitable foundation which consolidates the work of some 33 charitable foundations, entities and initiatives which, together, implement more than 1,400 development programs contributing to the support of more than 130 million people in 116 countries in collaboration with over 280 strategic partners, including governmental institutions, private sector companies, as well as regional and international organizations. Do share with us in the comments if you know more about the Al Maktoum family. Please subscribe to The Luxury World. Thanks for watching.